there are a number of different ways to find and edit batches in the Pi system, but probably the easiest one would be the batch database editor in SMT. It's found under batch in the plugins, and it's just called batch database. And it allows you to do a number of things with the batches. You can uh, search for batches and unit batches, and you can even create batches and unit batches. Uh, there's a results panel that we'll see in a moment, and uh, you can even edit the edit the batches as you see fit. Let's look at how to do some basic searches first. I'll select the Pi server, and you can see at the top there is a search for Pi batch and a search for Pi unit batch. If you select either one of these, wildcards will be in all of the fields, and the default start time is now minus one day and an end time of now. So you're going to see all the all the batches that were run today and if I click OK that's exactly what I see in the area below I can see the little expand icon there and all of my batches that I've run today are exposed here now let's say I want to just find the batches that ran on my pulp line okay so I can see that it I have pulp underscore BID so I can I can do another pi batch search and I can search for pulp underscore BID and an asterisk and I can click OK and I can see that that's narrowed it down to 43 I have 43 values here but what if I only want to see line 1 you'll notice that uh, here I have uh, my pulp underscore BID 1201 is uh, is looking at line one, but I've also got line two here. Uh, I've got my uh, digest two and my chip screener two. So I'd like to find out uh, only what's going on in line one. So I'd need to figure out something else about that about that search. And if I go to do a new search, you can see that under Pi Batch, I can either specify batch ID, product, or recipe. Well, the easiest thing for me to do is going to put a dash one because that will show me all of the pi batches that have the one front that was common to those. Now, if I had used a product or recipe in those that I could have identified, I could have searched on those as well. That's the pi batch search. Uh, I can also go and do a unit batch search and I get much the same, uh, much the same type of information. Uh, in this case, if I only want to see stuff for my um, digester one, I can just put in digester one and search. And oh, I got no searches. Did I? Let's put. Uh, I think I forgot my space. Digester one. Yes, there we go. And you can see all the batches that um, involve digester one. Now if there's something that you needed to change about this batch, maybe it didn't get recorded right, uh, maybe it's part of a different pi batch, I can associate that with a different pi batch by doing a search. Uh, I can change the start time and end time or the procedure. Uh, the only About the only thing you can't change uh, are the uh, anything that's system assigned like the sub batches, unique ID, server name, uh, things of that nature. So let's say for this one I want to go and change this uh, to an end time of uh, 607. We'll just change that to 607. We'll hit save and that batch has been edited. Um, keep in mind I'm also logged in as the administrator so I do have the security requirements for that as well. Um, in the search results field be very careful here because uh, there's a remove search results button that looks like a magnifying glass with a red X but if you have an individual uh, unit batch selected you can actually remove it here by hitting the delete button so you need to be very careful you don't want to remove batch records also uh, you can use this panel to insert batches if you've somehow missed one or or done that so you can add a pi batch at this level or you can drill down and find a pi unit and add a unit batch for that particular unit.